Hey everyone, Flint True Channel. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying in the Lord's Word. Um, if you're familiar with this channel or a regular follower of this channel, you are familiar with what I do on here, which is expose hucksters, charlatans, con artists, um, you know, devils, occultists, masons, and I've exposed Brian Denlinger uh, numerous times and. Time and time again, I get people from his channel that come on here, they get very, very upset at me making videos exposing their cult leader, they do not like it, and they let me know and leave me videos all the time and tell me about how I'm wrong, how Brian Denlinger is such a saved man, how he's such a holy man, and they say how I am just so unholy, like they would have any idea how I live. So it's absolutely ludicrous, ridiculous, and it just shows that he has a cult following and he's a cult leader. And I've exposed that time and time again in several videos. I've exposed how he uses satanic numerology, uh, occult symbols, um, and I've exposed where his teachings at times are flat out wrong. Okay, and not only wrong, but heretical and against God. Like I said, his job is to stir up the body of Christ to divide and conquer. That's what Brian Denlinger's job is, okay? The same as Steven Anderson, okay? They pretend like they're Christians, you know, no different than a Donald Trump or a Kenneth Copeland or a, um, Justin Peters or uh, Rodney Howard Brown, okay? They stand up there with a Bible, and if you guys remember, Brian Denlinger even did a video, which I've showed the clip before on my channel, where he states, oh, you do not have to believe the King James Bible. You do not have to believe the Bible at all. You can use it to make money, which is exactly what these Robert Tiltons, these Kenneth Copelands, these Benny Hins, these Brian Denlingers, okay? And the Bible warns us about these con artists who come up with elaborate stories for money, okay? And Brian Denlinger is no different. Like I've said before, this is from the 13 reasons why every Christian must reject the mass by Brian Denlinger. Now, of course, he used the number 13, which is an occultic number, okay? Because he's an occultist, okay? I've exposed that time and time again. People are gonna, you know, the ones who do not have this, that lack discernment, the ones who are under his spell, the, one who, the ones who are not praying to the Lord for discernment and spiritual, spiritual truth, um, they're being led astray, astray by Brian Denlinger. And it's as Brian Denlinger says also, but so does the Bible tell us that they're part of God's judgment for all these people who have itching ears. And it's kind of funny how Brian Denlinger went from actually having good material when he first started out because when my wife and I first started watching him back in 2010 or 2011, um, you know, we started watching his ministry. We were really thankful for his for his ministry, for his channel, because we thought, oh, thank you, Jesus. We found a true pastor who loves, who really, truly loves the Lord with his whole heart. And he's going to, he serves the Lord and he's going to bring us fruit. He's going to um, um, put truth out here. And just what a blessing that's going to be because I seen through all the false charlatans of the hucksters out there, the people, you know, these pastors and these Mason, these big churches and these Mason buildings and on TV, I seen through them just holding their Bible and saying the name of Jesus to make money. Okay. And like I said, it should have been a big red flag when he tried to, uh, started not only asking for donations, but he was condemning people saying that they didn't donate enough. How dare them only donate 19 donations in the month of January to the, to the body of Christ. Like really, Brian, you are a false teacher. You are a devil. And he's going to tell here in this video clip, he's going to out himself like he has several, several times. The problem is, is people either want to leave their blinders on. They never want, they want to be a good American and never remove their blinders, or they just don't want to see the truth for what it truly is. They don't want their bubble popped. They love, they love their, they love their sugar. And Brian Denlinger has become a sugar ministry where in the beginning he was condemning sin. He was um, preaching against sin. And I was thankful for that because you go in these church buildings and not to mention all the problems in the church buildings, gossiping and, and everything else. There's a lot of problems in there and you go in there and they don't preach about against sin. Okay. Because guess what? That makes their offering plates go down. People don't want to come to a church where they're being convicted. And that's just the truth. It's not um, being negative or disrespectful, 
that's just the truth, okay? Because that's all I'm trying to bring you guys here is the truth, okay? You guys let the chips fall where you may. I don't tell you what you have to believe. I don't tell you that you have to believe like me. I just put the stuff out in front of you and say, look at this, you know, A equals B, B you know what I mean? And you can see that they're all connected and these people that pretend to be Christians, these people that pretend to be who they're not, they're liars. They're wolves in sheep's clothing, as the Bible warns us about. And that's why the first thing I tell everybody and the last thing I tell everybody when I make a video is to make sure you're staying in the Word, okay? Because you need to be praying to the Holy Spirit, excuse me, you need to be praying to Jesus, praying to God, asking for the Holy Spirit to guide you um, and lead you, you know, when you watch these videos. Pray for discernment, okay? I'm certainly not all-knowing. I never said that. I've never let anybody believe, you know, let, let on to make anybody believe anything like that. I'm not perfect. I've never said that. I've never claimed that. Um, nothing of the sort. Um, but I get people all the time on here who just are absolutely have no idea how I live. And I live a, and not to toot my own horn or to be egotistical, but I live a really godly life, my wife and I. Okay, and we sacrifice a lot that most people don't sacrifice to make sure that we are honoring the Lord. Um, we homeschool. I mean, I could just go on and on of the, the things that my wife and I do, you know, that most people don't even do. And so I get people that come on my channel all the time, which I don't care. Let them, you know, they let them think what they want. Let them come here. It doesn't matter. It's not going to change um, the truth. Okay. Um, but they come on here and they leave their little comments because I've attacked their cult leader and they can't stand it. They don't like it, even though, and they'll, they'll say, oh, well, you know, go to second Timothy, you know, well, you're, you know, you're supposed to, you know, it's ridiculous. Okay. Because Brian Denlinger makes hundreds of videos about whoever he doesn't, uh, think is a Christian or whoever he wants to expose that he you know, believes is a charlatan. He can make videos about them, but you can't make videos about Brian. It's a total hypocrisy. It's a total, a total double, double standard. He got kicked off Patreon for sharing people's personal private information. Okay. And in this video clip that I'm going to play here to get to the point, he's going to, um, tell people that he don't care who you worship, um, or what you worship and that, you know, he doesn't care. And it's one thing to say, you know, you have the freedom because you're an American. You have the freedom to worship whoever you, you know, whatever you want. But for a Bible believing born again man to say he doesn't care. He don't care where or, where or who you worship. Really? You don't care that somebody lost somebody um, into the Egyptian um theology you don't care that they're lost somebody that's into the the greek goddess gods and goddesses you don't care that they're lost somebody that's into witchcraft you don't care somebody that's a pagan or into buddhism or uh people that are following muhammad and are, are lost and on their way to hell you don't care it doesn't bother you like it's, it's unreal that those are the words of a pastor but of course of course he's not a pastor and he always attacks everyone on the the word pastor that it's not a born or that it's not a uh, biblical New Testament word, and Brian is, although he's not a hundred percent wrong on that, he's not a hundred percent right on it either because there is a spot in in the New Testament where it does reference um, pastors as being um, teachers that the Lord will provide. So, but the actual office of a, a, a of like being that's not a, an office that you hold per se it's uh, the biblical word would be bishop and Brian Denlinger is supposed to be a bishop supposed to be a man of God he's supposed to be born again and he should care where his not only who his flock studies but he should he should care about just general people but that's the evil in this man that's the true evil in this man he doesn't care about anybody else he doesn't care about anybody else he cares about himself Oliver and Catherine Denlinger. That's who he cares about. He cares about saying the right things to make sure that he's going to get the money that he wants. When you don't care about uh, money and, you, and you're not in it for money, you'll put the truth out there. Brian Denlinger cares about money, so he won't put the truth out there. And it's truly sad because, like I said, 
you know, and I'm just going to play the video and then, then we'll talk a little bit. Uh, hate crime is what people say that do not believe in freedom, uh, liberty of conscience. Okay, I'm a very strong proponent. And if you don't know what liberty of conscience is, I'll show you real quick. Because I know some of you guys in my, who's watching the video probably aren't familiar with the term. Liberty of conscience is a fundamental right that protects the freedom to think, believe, and worship without government interference. It also includes the right to express one's belief to others. Now, if you're a political um, candidate and you're running for office, you know what? That might be a good thing to tell your um, audience that, you know, hey, I'm a liberty of conscience. I'm all for that. Um, and like I said, his American side, you know, as an American, maybe he can think that way and feel that way. But as a pastor speaking to his congregation, speaking to the flock, uh, supposed to be supposed to be uh, a mouthpiece of God, you know, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're supposed to be preaching what the Bible preaches, and you're supposed to be saying, you know what, um, I'm sorry if you're, and this is exactly why, I'm going to jump to this real quick. Uh, in the King James Version Bible says, James 3, verse 1, Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. And this is why exactly, you know, uh, these men, these false prophets, are going to be judged harder. They're going to be judged strictly. This is why it's very important to make sure you're teaching right with Brian Dillinger. So this is why it's important to tell your congregation the truth and to make sure that they know that they're supposed to be following Jesus Christ. So what he should have said there is, you know, you can, which I haven't even played the clip yet, I'm about to, but he, what, he, what he should say is, you know, I want you and the Lord wants you to serve Jesus Christ. You should um, be pushing that message as a born-again, Bible-believing man. You should not be pushing, you can, I don't care who you serve. And it's the word, and I'm going to put it up here, he, he put, don't care. I don't care. Which is something is not important or not a big deal. So somebody's soul is not a big deal. Somebody being lost and going to heaven is not a big deal. You don't care what they worship or who they worship. And you think that everybody should have the right to worship whoever they want. That's sick. Sick. And he says as long as you're not hurting anybody. Well, what is the definition of hurting somebody? And as you guys can read, it says to cause physical pain or injury. Or it says to physically harm or injure. Well, if somebody, if you're not giving somebody the truth and you don't care who they serve and you're sending them to hell, um, I believe that's hurting them. So he kind of double contradicts himself. Liberty of conscience. Okay, I'm a very strong proponent of liberty of conscience i don't care of course how you, you want to worship who you want to worship whatever of course you don't all atheists are whatever you know as long as you're not hurting anybody as long as you're not threatening people's lives okay i'm a very strong proponent of liberty of conscience i don't care how you want to worship who you want you don't care how you want to worship or who you want to worship well i care i care big time for absolutely everybody i don't want one soul to be lost i don't want one soul to not worship Jesus Christ. I don't want one soul to worship the wrong way. So I'm going to do my best to put the truth out there and teach people the best that I can that the Lord's given to me because I'm I'm you know maybe not as smart as Brian Dillinger. I don't don't have as much education as Brian Dillinger maybe. I don't know what his, you know, I do have some college education. I did I did go to college, but I don't I don't know if you know if he's got a doctor's degree. I don't know what Brian's what his education is. Um but I, you know, I don't think he's got a doctor or nothing like that. But um, my point is, is that's not something a Christian should say. That's not something a, a, a pastor should say. In freedom, uh, liberty of conscience. Okay, I'm a very strong proponent of liberty of conscience. Yeah, so are atheists. That's what atheists are all about. Believe what you want, do what you want, long as you don't harm nobody. That's exactly what the atheist mindset is. That's exactly what the atheists say. You know, you do whatever thou will, just do no harm. I don't care how you want to worship, who you want to worship, whatever, whatever, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you're not threatening. That's exactly what Satanists say. That's exactly the satanic motto. And it isn't ironic that 
Brian's message matches up with the satanic motto. And if you've watched this video this far through, I just want to say thank you because I understand a lot of people um, are ADD and they can't wait 15 minutes for me to click a video. And I probably should have played it a little, little sooner. So I'll make a smaller clip of the video um, for people that just want to actually see the clip and don't want to hear me talking about how this is not something a born again man should be saying, let alone a pastor who's preaching to the flock. Okay, he should absolutely care about each and every soul. Um, but again, he's using this the Bible to make money. He's using the pulpit to make money. Um, he would have never been in the church buildings being propped up. And those videos with he, where he's in the church building, that's perfect. A perfect example of Brian tried to make it in the church buildings, but he thought, thought that he'd make more money, obviously, on YouTube. And he, he's obviously right because the man hasn't worked in what, 15 years now at least? Has not worked a job in 15 years um, just off being YouTube and is in the internet. So he's obviously making a very good living. And like I said, so much so that he feels that he can scorn the body of Christ if they don't give him enough money. If they only give 19 don donations for the month of uh, January, how dare them? And like I said, he's done made, I think it was over $30,000, his give, send, go account. The last time I checked, I'm sure it's probably up to 40 or 50 by now. I'm not sure. You've seen that his channel all of a sudden started getting plugged or started, um, his, his numbers started going up with views and his subscribers as soon as he got plugged by uh, Stranger Than Fiction and started putting him on his playlist. So again, this is all provable. I've proven all these things in video after video. Uh, this is not just because I don't like Brian Dunlinger because that's certainly not the case. I pray for Brian Dunlinger um, and I pray that he truly repents and finds the Lord Jesus Christ and becomes born again. And I pray that um, he uses his talent for good. I pray that you know, he's a smart man, he's articulate. I pray that he comes out and repents. And I mean truly repents, not not like a fake Benny Hinn, like, oh, I'm sorry that I taught the prosperity gospel. And then, you know, while he's doing that, you know, doing the same thing, you know, basically, you know, just a new way to ask for money. These people, these con artists, like I said, although Brendan Lear is not a brother in Christ, I do pray for him. And I hope that he repents and uses his talents for good because, like I said, the Lord loves him, and the Lord could really use him. And I'm not sure if it's because he got with Catherine that all of a sudden his he started pushing out such um, heretical, evil um, rhetoric, or is it because he's felt that way all along and it was just a ruse and he was trying to build an audience up before he released and revealed his true self? Because... I'm thinking that that's what it is. I'm thinking it's the second one. I'm thinking that, you know, that it's not just that he's a, he was just a great guy and that his wife bamboozled him, you know, that she's just some military witch, you know, that he, and he even called her a harlot and a military witch and all this stuff. And all of a sudden she met him and got saved. No, that doesn't happen like that. What does the Bible say? You raise them in the, you raise them strong in the word. And when they get older, they will not depart. Okay. So obviously Catherine was not raised in the word. Okay, obviously, as she will tell you, her parents were occultists. Okay, that they were, uh, she even said they were Masons, that she was babysitted by Masons, that she's, you know, was part of the FBI, CIA, and all this. And I've proven all this in clips because um, he tried to refute that. Brian Denlinger tried to say, that's not true. She did not say that. And then I showed the video clip. See, that's the thing. When he don't realize that there's a way to go back and get every video, Every video online that's been deleted, you can go back and find them, if you know if you're savvy enough and know and know how to use the internet. So Brian Denlinger thought, hey, well I can just say what I want because the video's been deleted. He didn't realize that I was going to put the proof up there, and and actually expose him. The problem is, is the, the you know the videos that should be getting the views, the people, they're not watching them. Okay, a lot of the views that you know where I've exposed a lot of Brian Denlinger videos. They have 60, 70 views. Some have 2,500, you know, or more, you know, but some don't. And a lot of the ones that don't have the amount of views that they should are the ones where there's a lot of substance in there, when there's a lot of um, exposing of Brian Denlinger. And like I said, as soon as he seen me putting the truth out there and exposing him, he immediately came after my channel, lied, misrepresented not only himself, but me and my channel and what I said, 
and he's just a devil. And like I said, it's truly sad because, you know, like I said in the beginning, my wife and I, and I'm sorry if this video goes on, it's going on a little bit longer, um, but there are some people that are interested, so I'm, you know, you can feel free to click off if you're not interested in listening anymore. But like I said, my wife and I, in the beginning, we were very thankful for Brian Denlinger, you know, and then he started putting his heresies out there. He started mixing his, his, um, truth with lies. And like I said, you should know that he's a Jesuit, um, actor and a Jesuit, um, everything that he, he stands for, he, he pushes, you know, all these fake government things that, that they're pushing, that they're doing. Brian is pushing them as real, you know, um, the fake heliocentric globe earth. Brian pushes as real, um, and just on and on and on, you know, Brian has been, and this is my true, true feelings about it. I believe Brian was, um, his parents were part of the occult, you know, and when I say occult, I mean masons connected part of the fraternities. I don't mean necessarily, um, you know, in the woods behind, uh, having an altar, you know, doing satanic sacrifices or whatever. That's not necessarily what I mean. I mean, he's part of the fraternities, as most of these church people are. They pretend like they're Christians. They pretend like they're God-loving, and they take oaths. You know, that's why a lot of these pastors in these church buildings, or these Baptist church buildings and whatnot, are um, Muslims and, and whatnot, because they've taken dual oaths. When the Bible tells us, take, you know, take no oaths. But like I said, if this man was a true man of God, he could actually do a lot of good work for the Lord. He could actually really, really help the body of Christ and put a lot of truth out there. He chooses not to do that. Why? Because liberty he don't of care. Conscience. Okay, I'm a very strong proponent of liberty of conscience. I don't care how you want to worship. So we just looked at the definition of I don't care, and you guys just seen the definition of, of having no interest. So he's got no interest. He's got no care who you worship. You can worship Buddha. You can worship a, a beetle on the ground. You can worship a tree. You know, you can worship Mac McDonald's, whatever you want. It doesn't matter to him. Who you want to worship, wherever, wh wherever, whenever. You can go to a church and pretend that you're a, um, a Christian. He don't care. You can get on YouTube and get online and pretend you're a Christian. He don't care. He's for that. He's for everyone having their freedom. You know, satanic philosophy, satanic mindset, as long as it doesn't harm anyone. And which is crazy because... Uh, it does harm people because it's an oxymoron. You're harming yourself at the very least. So, <laughs> Brian, you're exposed. Whatever, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you're not threatening people's lives. Well, you are hurting somebody and you are threatening people's lives. You're threatening your own life. <laughs> and when you start, when people start to cry hate crime, that so, is a... Th I'll play out one more time and then you guys can listen, but... Uh, hate crime is what people say that do not believe in freedom, uh, liberty of conscience. Okay, I'm a very strong proponent of liberty of conscience. I don't care how you want to worship, who you want to worship, whatever, whatever. See, he's talking about worship. So don't just think, oh, well, he's talking about something else there. He took it out of context. No, he clearly says worship. I don't care who you worship, how you want to worship, or where you want to worship. Of course you don't, because he's an atheist and he's faking himself. So like I said, you know, I'm not going to make this video any longer than it has to be. Um, I'm, I just, all I can do is pray for Brian Denlinger. Um, you know, he's a hypocrite. Absolutely the definition of the pot calling the kettle black. You know, he even says, you know, he even got kicked off Patreon for exposing people's information. That's not a man of God. That's not a Bible-fearing man. This man does not fear God at all. And in fact, he's said before that he thinks um, that the Bible is more important than Jesus Christ. The Bible is more important than God. He said that, which is basically idolatry. You're basically idolizing the Bible. Now, yes... It's the greatest thing ever that God has given me, and it's God's, it's God's word. It's God's perfect word, the Bible. However, um, it's not to be put above God or Jesus. Um, you know, as far as anything I've ever been taught, 
I know I know people come on this channel all the time and try to tell me that I'm wrong and that I don't know the Bible and I don't know what I'm talking about and they're clueless okay because they don't they don't know my teachings they don't know my background they don't know where I come from okay they don't they have no clue and they are just given their false assumptions okay I've made it clear time and time again that I've never went to Bible college I've never went to Bible school um, you know, I've never went to any seminaries you know I believe that's where all these false prophets go to get trained to be false prophets like they are okay so no I've never been there okay but my grandfather is a pastor my mother and father both have their degree in theology so I do understand the Bible. I do know the Bible. I was taught the Bible my whole life. I've read the Bible my whole life. I do understand it. I do know it. And as any other Christian, I'm still learning every day, as we all should be. No man knows it all. Okay, the Bible is a lifelong book. By the time, you know, Lord willing, I get to be 80 years old, I still won't know everything in the Bible. And these men that claim that they know everything, they don't. So... Just wanted to put that out there, like I said, this video, you know, in the beginning, Brian Denlinger's service, sermons, how they changed, you know, how they were, you know, where it almost seemed like he was God-fearing, it almost seemed like he was truly born again, it almost seemed like he was truly saved, you know, he's putting a lot of truth out there, he was condemning sin, and it, man, he was just really on a roll for it, and then he started coming out with certain things, then he come out with more things, then he come out with the racist stuff, then he come out with going against... Uh, you know, pushing that the earth is, is round and, and and it's ridiculous. Nobody knows the shape of the earth. We don't know if it's round or flat. Um, and he don't know that either. But he's rejecting Bible verses that flat out says that the earth cannot be moved. That the earth has a firmament. That the earth has four corners. He denies all these Bible verses. And if you put those Bible verses on his page, he will block you. Um, if you talk against... Uh, his videos where he's talking against interracial marriage he's wrong okay the lord does not care the, the problem is culture and i've said this time and time again the lord does not care what color someone's skin is okay the problem is the culture okay where were they born how do they think you know um what are their customs okay i'll give you an example and this is one of the big falling up falling outs with Brian Nillinger and I. Why I, you know, because like I said, in the beginning, I thought he was a true man of God. I sent him $600 to support his ministry. My wife and I were watching his videos, and he's come out against um, interracial marriage. And I'm like, what is he talking about? And he was, you know, doing his, 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 his twist in the Bible, using, you know, twisting verses to get his own meaning, to get, to get, to, to prove his, his point, which wasn't proven and that he could never really use no real bible scripture of the new testament you know saying that you know like i said my wife is adopted she is hispanic uh 100 hispanic from honduras was adopted as a baby brought over here by an american white couple just like me um her whole life she was raised as a an american Okay, with all the culture as an American, she wasn't taught Spanish, she doesn't eat Spanish food, none of that, okay? It's the culture that, that, that you raise the person into, which is what God's talking about. Different cultures create problems because with different cultures, you have different religions, different backgrounds. When you mix different religions and different backgrounds, you have problems. So the Bible is saying, don't mix backgrounds don't mix cultures it's not talking about the race of the person okay what god cares about is what's in that person's heart does that person love the lord god which my wife does my wife was raised a christian my wife is born again uh, you would never find a more godly woman on this earth than my woman than my wife i've never come across a woman that i thought was more godly that loved the lord more that sort i mean who does everything that she can you know when she found out that she wasn't supposed to be wearing pants about 10 12 years ago she's been wearing dresses when she found out that makeup about the makeup she has she, she don't wear makeup i mean 
my wife goes to the extreme to make sure that she not only honors the Lord Jesus Christ, but she honor, honors her husband, which is me, and honors our family. Um, I couldn't be more blessed. And like I said, that was the beginning with Brian Dunlinger, um, when he was pushing his hate, you know, misinterpreting the Bible to break up families. And that's wrong. He was tell he's tell he told people that if they get together with uh, another Christian, another born again Christian that's of a different ethnicity, that they're gonna go to hell and that their kids are going to be bastards, and that their kids are going to go to hell and be cursed for ten generations. That's what this man teaches. And so, understand that it's important for born-again, true Bible believers to expose a man like this, and why I expose this man. It's not because I hate this man. Okay, I, There's no hate in my heart for this man. Okay, I love this man as 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 we're called to and i pray for this man and i pray one day that he uses his talent for the lord and i'm gonna end that there and i think each and every one of you guys and like i said we shouldn't be surprised that brian's theology matches up with satanic theology because it's what we've known him to be all along